Hi, welcome to Talking Tech. I'm your host, Marcus Yan. And with the launch of the full Raptor Lake family, that's the Intel 13th Gen Core processors for mobile and desktop, we came to CES 2023 to check out the latest PCs packing this powerful processor. Joining us here is Haley McKay of Lenovo to show us what's new. Haley, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, Marcus. It's nice to be here. Thanks. So first off, who are you and what do you do? So I am the Worldwide Consumer Event Growth Marketing Manager. I help support our Legion, Yoga, and tablet brands for the consumer portfolio at Lenovo. Perfect. So Yoga and Legion. Quickly tell me what we have on the table here. Yeah. So this is the brand new Lenovo Yoga Book 9i. It runs on the 13th gen uh, i7 Intel U series processors. This is the Legion Pro 7i that runs on the 13th gen uh, HX series I, up to an i9 processor. Yeah, it's really exciting. I know that's something for the gamers will want to check out with uh, up to 24 cores, 32 threads. It's a screaming CPU for kind of like any sort of workload. Um, and I know we'll get to that in a bit, but I know we want to talk about that one first. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so like I mentioned, this is the Lenovo Yoga Book 9i. The biggest, best feature about this device is it's full-size 13.3 inch uh, 2.8K OLED displays. So here you have two OLED display panels. They are asymmetrical, so you can browse on the top, work on the bottom. This can be a virtual keyboard, um, but it really takes your multitasking and your creativity to the next level. So I remember that Lenovo had a foldable device. Mm -hmm. Is this like an evolution or like another another approach at bringing sort of two sides of screens onto a folding laptop? So it's a similar concept, um, but different in the sense that our foldable is one continuous screen. This is two separate screens and the foldable doesn't have the asymmetrical capabilities that the yoga book does. So um, for example, if you open up a browser here, you can also open up a second tab and pull it down here to the bottom screen. So these can operate uh, different operations simultaneously. One other thing that I noticed of having these two screens separate is that you still have room for that sound bar, which I've seen from other yoga designs. And you know, from my personal experience, you get some really good sound out of a laptop with that sound bar design. Yeah, absolutely. There's nothing blocking it, so it can project right up or well out into the room if you operate in 10 mode as well. So show me some other kind of cool applications that you said that you can have like the waterfall mode. Um, and uh, actually, you know, I, I know that this is accessories that come with it. I, you see, I've seen the virtual keyboard. So show me what's, what's this setup about. Yeah, sure. So first I'll start with the waterfall mode. So right now you have your web browser open on just the top screen. If you tap the bottom screen with five fingers, it will extend into waterfall mode. So then you can scroll and your 13.3 inch screen just became double the size. You can also um, tap again to exit waterfall mode and open a different application here at the bottom like Word. You can also see the virtual keyboard will pop up on the bottom, or you can open up your keyboard folio here. And does this come with every one or is this like a separate purchase? Everything you see here, so keyboard, folio, and pen all come standard with the yoga book. So you really get the whole package. Don't right you out spend of the any box. more money. It's like everyone gets no. this when they buy that. No, and this is also really cool. So when you set this up, you can operate your system vertically okay. here. So, so it's like two screens on top of each other. Exactly. Keyboard. Yeah. And they can be here. You see them are separate, but you can also, again, do the waterfall mode. So your screen is double the size. You can also type here on the bottom. Or if you have a notepad option open, you can even draw right in here. So if I needed to sign my name on a document, I can just use the pen, sign it at the bottom and write in my Word document. And it works just like that. Now, if you want to have a digital touchpad on the device, um, you can take it back down here and then you can tap on the bottom screen with eight fingers. It will move your Word document up to the top and then you can type right here on the screen. And to access a digital touchpad, you just want to slide up on the keyboard and you'll see it pop up right here on the screen where you can navigate, click here and continue working with or without the external keyboard. Very cool. So lots of options, right? I, I think yoga has always been about flexibility. Yeah. And that's, that's why you have kind of every, every kind of uh, configuration. Yeah. I also wanted to show um, another element here of the folio stand. So you can also use it in book yeah. mode this way, um, which again allows for simultaneous uh, browsing options. So you could have a browser on one side, a Word document on the other. You can easily move screens to the other side. Yeah. At, at my desk, I've got obviously multiple monitors and actually even have a monitor that's on its side because it's when I'm looking at websites or email, it's so much easier to have that uh, portrait mode to see so much more 
more text. So I see this is like kind of the a really good option for like road warriors who want to have multiple screens without you know having anything that's really big and bulky. Absolutely, yeah. And another really cool feature that you can do is um, you can actually draw and create right on this device. So with the pen, let's say you're um, a sketch artist and you want to create, you can do that right here on the screen, make your designs, save them, transition them into other programs. So it's really targeting those super creative, mobile, on the go kind of Gen Z crowd that wants the most out of their device, doesn't want a big and bulky system. And it really just opens up a book of limitless possibilities from a device perspective. Are there any other features we haven't gone yet? Because like for the kind of the, the thing I want to wrap everything up with is you say mobile. I mean, you say people mm -hmm. who, and I said Rogue Warriors, I kind of want to see how small this thing can get. We've shown us so many features. It goes in tent mode. It goes into like the waterfall mode. I want to see how small it can get. Just, you know, how if it for yeah. someone has to travel with one of these. Absolutely. Ones. So first you're just going to close it like you would a traditional PC. And then you take the folio here and then you set your keyboard right inside, close it up and then your pen just slides right here in the top and there you go. All in a nice com compact little package. That's it. Very cool. And you still have uh, your selection of ports. You've got, I think, two, two Thunderbolt on this side. Oh, a, yep. a little uh, a webcam shutter there to, for, for privacy mode. Oh, and another Thunderbolt yep. on that side. So you side. got two USB-C Thunderbolts on either side and then a e-privacy webcam shutter as well. Very cool. Um, I really like this blue color. Um, is this the only option for this year or is there, are there going to be more? So this color is the Lenovo Signature Title Teal. This represents our commitment to a more sustainable future. Um, it's really kind of signifying our move to make a better, more conscious decisions in creating our products. So the Title Teal is the only signature color for this system. Very cool. Uh, anything more on, on this very cool yoga before we jump into the one for gamers? Let's jump into the gamers. Okay. All right. So this is... This is the Legion. I think that uh, gamers, creators alike will know that you know, Lenovo has made many pretty, pretty great Legion uh, gaming PCs uh, over the years. And I know that I have to say this one's special because I really love the new 13th gen HX processor. Again, that's 24 cores, 32 threads, 5.6 gigahertz, up to 5.6 gigahertz. Um, it's fantastic. There's nothing that you can throw at it that it can't do. Absolutely. But I want to see kind of like, what do you like about this year's updated Legion? So my favorite feature about this updated Legion model is its ability to learn as you game to maximize its performance. So the 7 Pro this year has an AI tuned gaming chip inside that allows you to turn on your game and go right away. So like you mentioned, it's powerful, but it's portable. I know a lot of gamers like to fine tune their settings and make sure it's perfect for their competition, but there's some days where you just want to turn on your system and play a mind numbing game and get right into it. So the AI chip allows you to do that while also maximizing your performance. I also really love the custom RGB keyboard here. So you can actually set a per key RGB setting so you can have it completely immersive to exactly what game you're playing no matter what color you like or which keys you want involved um, you can just make it as personal as you want very cool yeah I love I mean I'm a I'm a big sucker for RGBs and I love the little like the rainbow rainbow effects here the other thing that I really love about this system is it has a supercharger capability so you can get a super quick high powered charge without waiting for hours to charge your big system. And this also allows you to leave your battery pack at home so that you can game for longer on the go. So this is great. Again, 13th gen brings so much innovation in the PC space. Um, when are people gonna be able to see these, like to be able to order online or, or in stores? Great question. So the Lenovo Yoga Book is going to be available in second half of 2023. The Legion Pro 7i should be available later this Q1. Very cool. Well, Kaylee, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for talking tech. I'm so excited to see you. Thanks for having me. It was a great time.